In this video, I'll be introducing 13 must-have new Skyrim mods that you shouldn't miss by the end of January 2024. From innovative gameplay-related mods to early access content, I've carefully selected a diverse range of mods for you to look forward to. Feel free to subscribe and hit the like button. So let's dive right in. Let me introduce you to some gameplay-related mods first. The first one is Animated Ships. This mod adds moving ships to the ports and seas of Skyrim. You can see big and small ships sailing around the rivers or the ocean, and NPCs travel by boat through the ports, beaches, and seas. You can also board the ships yourself. The ships can be found near Solitude, Riften, Dawnstar, Volkihar Castle, Raven Rock, and Skull, adding more vitality to the cities with harbors. The ships have really amazing designs, and it was fun to see them while traveling. I think this is a must-have mod for you, so I decided to introduce it first. Next up is Cold Sun's Vision's NPC's AIO. This is an NPC replacer mod that includes all nine of Cold Sun 1187's Pantheon NPC packs, Neri, and four male housecarls turned female. This mod improves countless Skyrim NPCs with meticulous attention to detail following Cold Sun 1187's vision. This mod supports any body type and the skin and assets chosen by Cold Sun 1187, and it comes in an all-in-one format for easy installation. If you are a fan of Cold Sun's NPC replacers, you should try this mod to enhance your Skyrim NPCs. Next up is Modular SMP Hairstyles. This mod is inspired by the hair customization system of Tekken 6 and allows you to use various combinations of hairstyles. It adds many diverse and unique hairstyles with over 100 unisex options focused on medium length styles. Despite having high poly meshes and high resolution textures, it is frame friendly. There are many styles that are suitable for players, but I think they will also be widely used for NPC replacers in the future. It has a quite immersive feel, and I want to recommend it to you. If you like it, please try it out. Next up is Guards Pose with Weapons IED OAR. This mod makes the guards who protect the city pose with their weapons or helmets. This mod depends on two other mods, Immersive Equipment Displays and Open Animation Replacer, which provide animations for various weapons and equipment, such as one-handed and two-handed weapons, bows, spears, axes, tridents, halberds, helmets, and more. This mod changes the guards from always standing upright to posing in different ways, which enhances the immersion and the character of the guards. Next up is Equip Spells as Shouts. This is a SKSE mod that allows you to convert the spells equipped in your hand into shouts. The purpose of this mod is to provide a way to cast spells while keeping your hands free. This mod also supports custom spells added by other mods, and you can use magic as shouts even when you have weapons equipped in both hands, which enables you to create a unique magic warrior or thum warrior. This mod works as expected in terms of spell power, mana consumption, and experience gain, and it has animations and sounds. It is also safe to install or uninstall during gameplay. I recommend this mod to players who want to use more magic as warriors. Next up is Sanctified Steel. This mod enhances silver weapons to deal more damage to the undead. By using a tool called Sky Patcher, it automatically tags silver weapons so that they inflict 50% extra damage to the undead. It also improves the appearance of silver weapons, but it does not add silver bows and daggers. I hope these will be added and improved in the future. If you have always wanted to boost your silver weapons, but felt they were not worth it, give this mod a try. But beware, it will hurt more if you are a werewolf. In this segment, I'm going to introduce some animation mods for you. There are a few mods that I want to share with you. First up is Wa Ribbon HDT SMP Path Walking Animations. This mod changes the walking and running animations of female characters. It makes them walk with their left hand on their waist and strike a pose. It's a very feminine motion, 
But when I applied it, I felt a bit uncomfortable because all the female NPCs used this motion. However, this can be solved by adding a condition value so that only the player can use it. This motion requires a female character that can pull it off well, and if you think your character suits this motion, you might want to give it a try. Next up is ADXP MCO Scar 7 Spears Animations. This mod adds a moveset that swings a huge spear. It works based on the weapon included in the Sekiro Ashina General and Seven Spears mod. The motion of swinging the weapon seems to express the weight well. However, the movement is too clumsy, which is a pity. I introduced this mod because I think it could be a decent moveset if you replace this part with another motion. If you prefer this kind of motion, please try it out. In this segment, I'm going to introduce you to some outfit mods. There are some mods that I want to show you. First up, Shadow Armor. This outfit is created by Fuse, and it adds a high-quality black leather jacket and a matching outfit and goggles. The whole design is black, and it gives your character a sophisticated look. The double jacket, buttons, and belt are all well-designed and fit the worldview. Especially, the goggles have three versions, and you can choose to wear them or not. If you like Fuse's outfits, you might want to add this one too. Next up is Legacy of Ysgrimoire. This mod changes the standard armor and weapons of the Companions Guild, and replaces the models of Ysgrimoire's axe and shield. This mod offers a new perspective on the history and culture of Skyrim, and enhances the combat skills and personalities of the Companions. In my case, I used version 1.5.97, but this mod did not work. However, after installing backported extended ESL support and then installing this mod, it worked properly. If you are using version 1.5.97 and experience the same problem as me, please try installing backported extended ESL support. The link is in the description, so please check it out. In this segment, I'm going to introduce some early access mods for you. There are a few mods that I want to show you. First up is Pandora Behavior Engine. Pandora Behavior Engine is a tool that patches behavior, character, and skeleton project files for Skyrim. This tool improves the author and user experience by providing a simple UI, robust logging, intuitive formats, and fast patching times, while maintaining compatibility with Nemesis Unlimited Behavior Engine and FNIS. This tool is still in public alpha version, but I think you should give it a try, so I'm introducing it first. It is currently featured on GitHub, and you can find more details in the link in the description. Next up is For Honor in Skyrim 3.5, a mod by the well-known Smooth creator. Smooth has recently developed a charging attack feature for this moveset, and I'm here to introduce it to you. I don't know the exact activation conditions, but it seems that you can perform a more powerful attack with a special effect on your sword. It also seems that a knockback feature has been added, so please check out Smooth's YouTube channel for more details. Next up is Frostforged Rune Spear. This is a simple one-handed spear MCO moveset. You can get it from the east of Ustengrav or from the add item menu, and you can use it by equipping the weapon. You can attack with the spear and also throw it, which is a unique moveset. And if you use the forward power attack, you can use the dash attack, which I think will be a good moveset for players who want to use a one-handed spear. This is currently version 0.1, so it might take some time to be completed. Thank you for joining me in this exploration of the must-have Skyrim mods for January 2024. If you enjoyed discovering these innovative additions to the game, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on notifications. Stay tuned for more exciting Skyrim content, and I'll see you in the next video. Happy modding!